we do good Indian food and why not give somebody an authentic experience that it's really hard to get in Punjab. Hey guys, Melina here and when last you had some real Indian food. Today we're at Maza and we're going to check out authentic Indian cuisine. M-U-H-C-A-A. Maza, it's a Urdu word. So it's supposed to be fun. So hopefully when you all come here, you all enjoy yourselves, come back again, tell other people. We don't do food coloring and all. It's, so it might not look as the prettiest. And to be honest, if you look at Trini curry, it is not the prettiest or stew chicken. It don't look the most appetizing, but when you eat that, Hey, I had to spot, you know. But I have a very limited menu at the moment because I said, you know, I don't want to do like 20 different things and only five good things. So we do a few good things and it caters for everybody. Like if you into really Indian food, the go with the biryani. Love the fact that it have an egg on it. That means it's authentic. Uh, take note. Just a little bit flavor. Wow. If you're not a fan of Indian food so much, you prefer a trini or you don't really like rice, go with the coconut chicken. The coconut curry and chicken with naan. And the curry is exceptionally rich. There's a mild spice to it and the coconut flavors are really strong. If you're a vegetarian, go the vegetables. Hiki sabji and it's served with garlic bread. It has a choker vibes. It's more acidic with a lot of onions and you taste any garlic in there as well. Perfect. The vegetarian dish actually winning more than any meat. If you want like a home feeling, like, like a cozy, I'm not feeling to eat anything fancy. I don't want the outside food. I just want something from home, but I don't want to cook. Go with the dal and rice. There's a lot of ginger in here and a strange spice, some, some kind of strange something that I'm not familiar with. But um, it does taste good. So I'm just adding a little pickled onions. Yeah, I'll give it a mother-in-law vibes. So yeah, have the um, pickled onions with the murk dal. You know, everything, there is something for everybody. And it's a limited menu. So you don't have to sit down, oh, I wonder what good, I oh, wonder what not, everything good. This texture is amazing. It's so crunchy. This sweet pepper dip is like my new favorite. This is my favorite thing here. All these samosas I've eaten before, they want nothing with this. So we're gonna try this food out here. It's like um What's I, your name? I, <laughs> the fluda. The, sorry. Fluda. Fluda? It's an Indian smoothie. It's like a drink in a flower, which is weird for me to say. But it like it have that kind of natural sweetness that is very interesting. Favorite part of the day is dessert, and I'm having the blueberry crumble, layers and layers of texture, the crumble on top, the softness on the inside, the greenness of the blueberry, and let's taste. Is this homemade? Jesus. And I got a uh, air purifier because it's COVID. And I said, you know what, it's an airborne disease, caught mass, don't really do much in any way, taken out. And i rather not, somebody not get COVID coming by me. It filters the coronavirus. So something we have to live with now because it's two years, so life moves on. I know a lot of people did lose people because of COVID and it, it is really, really, really dangerous. But at the same time, people have to get accustomed and move on and adapt. And, I guess that was the plan, you know. I want to go out somewhere nice, also for the Muslim community. We don't have pork, we don't have alcohol, which was a major thing on the start of it. I want a nice place with good food. And I want to sit down and bring my friends, bring my family. Y'all bring your friends, your family. And, and that's why I think I take any steps with the HEPA filter and everything, because we want people to sit down and feel a little bit of normalcy. I think that little bit of normalcy, even though you know the world out there, it's a mess, but you come here and for a little bit, you enjoy yourself.